In the last video, we put the finishing touches on the passive radiator build. Today, we're going to build grills. This is the third video in a series showing off my 8 inch passive radiator build. In this video, we're going to work on fabricating some grills for the enclosure. This process actually started way back in the first video of the build. I'll give you a link to it right here. The build uses a double front baffle. After I cut the recesses in the second baffle, I made a copy of that baffle so I could use it later on to put the grills together. I did this so I could fabricate grills while I'm waiting for paint to dry. The process was easy enough. I just used some double sided carpet tape to stick the baffle to some scrap quarter inch MDF and then routed everything out. When I finished I had a perfect copy. When routing MDF you make a ton of dust. There's going to be a dust extractor build in the future simply because my current setup is just not going to, going to do the job. I find that the scraper end of a glue brush works great for separating template pieces. Next, I'm going to cut a ring out of this nice piece of birch veneered MDF. I start by setting the circle jig to cut a hole with a 10 and a half inch diameter. Since the router bit is a quarter inch and the bit will pass across the diameter twice, this should give me a 10 inch circle. But past experience has shown me that this is not perfectly accurate. But I do have a plan to account for this later on. As you can see here, the circle is just a hair bigger than the 10 inch hole in the baffle. I hope that you're enjoying the video. If you are, take a second to hit that like button and give me a subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell because if you don't ring the bell, YouTube doesn't actually believe you. And now I'm just going to tape this circle down to my work surface and cut an eight and a half inch hole to make my ring. Now it's time to bust out my rabbiting bit so I can resize this ring a little. This bit came in a kit with a bunch of bearings so I can set several different rabbits. The largest bearing can be used for flush trimming. I'm going to be using the next size down. I'll mount this thing securely in the collet of the router and set the bit height to be about of a quarter inch. I just kind of eyeballed it. It doesn't have to be exact. <laughs> now we cut the rabbit and fast forward through the boring bits. The rabbit fits into the baffle template nicely. Then I simply repeat the process on the inner part of the ring. Off camera, I swapped out my rabbiting bit for my flush trim bit, and I simply trimmed the inside and outside of this ring, and now I've got a ring that's just a little bit smaller than the one that I started off with. You can repeat this method to resize pretty much anything that you want. It's a little bit time consuming, but it's a real great way to make exact copies that are slightly bigger or slightly smaller than the original. Now that I have a perfectly sized template in my ring, I'm going to make four exact copies. I only need two, but sometimes it's nice to make an extra in case you mess up or in case you need a ring for another project. I transfer the shape to some MDF with a pencil. Off camera, I rough cut these with a jigsaw. Then I affix some double sided carpet tape to the template and made copies using a flush trim bit on the router. Let's take a look at the copy of my baffle and compare it to my ring template. It's a little bit too small, but this is by design. Here I have one of my rings. Off camera I cut a rabbit into the underside of the ring and then I apply a layer of speaker gasket tape to the outside edge. Now the ring should just barely fit. After I wrap the ring in grill cloth it will provide a nice snug friction fit. Speaking of the grill cloth, here's what I'm going to be using. I got this from Parts Express several years ago to use on my very first subwoofer project. I'll give you a link to that here. I never got around to using it and just left that project without a grill. So this is the first time I've opened up the bag and taken a look at. I was really impressed with this grill cloth. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I was imagining something thin and very easy to see through. 
This is quite literally the first time I've ever wrapped a project with any kind of material. In fact, this was an extra ring that I made just to use as a practice piece. So you get to watch as I awkwardly cut out far too much grill cloth material and struggle to affix it to the ring. I cut a rabbit into the underside of the ring to make it easier to attach the cloth. I'm using super glue and staples to hold it all together. I actually ran out of super glue after I started this project. The material was quite stretchy and forgiving. I was surprised by how opaque the grill cloth was. You won't be able to see through it, especially since the background's also going to be black. So now I just slowly and steadily work my way around the ring, stapling it, pulling the fabric tight, stapling it again, uh, lather, rinse, repeat. And then when I'm done stapling it, I um, take my scissors and my knife and try to trim out some of the excess fabric. That excess fabric is just going to get in the way and keep it from mounting securely into the speaker baffle. The test piece fit great, so I'm going to hit the rest of my rings with some black spray paint so they'll hide behind the speaker grills just a little bit better. And then I've got to wrap them with some more speaker gasket material. Again, this is done in order to fill the gap between the ring and the outside of the baffle and allow me to have a nice press fit so I can just push the grills in there nice and tight. And then it's just a matter of wrapping the rings with grill cloth again. And here is the finished product. I think it looks pretty good for my first time wrapping grill cloth around rings. They stick out a little bit from the surface. That's because I use three quarter inch material instead of the half inch material that I made the baffle out of. I might make it again out of half inch material just to see if I like it better. But I'm overall quite pleased with the product and really happy with my first experience with trying to wrap anything at all. And it's kind of important to remember that the first time you do things, it's not always going to end up perfect. So don't ever feel discouraged if your first attempt doesn't come out just right. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell.
In the last video, we put the finishing touches on the passive radiator build. Today, we're going to build grills. 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 Grills.